Hola a todos, ¿qué tal? Soy Katia y este es Blue Skies and Tamales. And today we are <laughs> we're gonna walk along in Sullivan Street. I just wanted to show you this street first. Is and Maestro Antonio Caso is a street that helps to connect the center of the city with Polanco area. So the center will be like on this direction and Polanco will be on this direction, this one here. Today is the uh, 12th of December, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius. It says 18, but actually feels hotter. Um, I wanted to thank everybody for the comments, um, for all the nice comments and all the support. I'm really grateful for them and for watching, for, for you, for you all for watching my videos and yeah, I'm really, thank you, I'm really grateful, thank you so much. Um, I was thinking about changing the channel name. I'm not really great at names, but if you have something in mind, please let me know. I'm really bad at names, I'm naming something. Uh, but I hope the name comes up, um, you know, like soon, because I want to change it. I, I want something shorter, but I want also that reflects my, you know, my channel or the purpose of my channel. So after walking one block, we are at Sullivan Street. This Sullivan Street is well known for its, um, let's call it this way, nightlife. Um, this is the market that I showed you previously in one of the videos. I'm gonna put the link down below if you wanna check it out. And I wanted to show you this time the other side of the street. Because I showed you the part of the uh, Sunday market and the art market. But what's happening on the other side? Well, so I want to show you this. Uh, it feels like a really, really nice day. It feels hot. I kind of feel happy, you know, uh, just going out and exploring the city. I can't believe it is 12th of December. Today, in Mexico, we celebrate the Dia de la Virgen de Guadalupe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video about it because there is a lot of people, a lot of people, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go there by myself. So, let's see. <laughs> uh, there's some kiosks. Some oxos over here, you know, there are oxos everywhere now. Oh, this is the, the oxo, like, like a mini mart uh, that is all over Mexico now. There are so many businesses uh, during, open during the week on this side. Now we can see pretty much everything is closed. And this is because it's Sunday. <laughs> and you know, there is like a, a printing place and a bar and some cafes and some comida corrida places. Comida corrida is like a, like a menu that you buy. It's usually homemade food. And we call it comida corrida because it's like a full meal. You have the soup and the main dish and the sides and usually some fruity water and some dessert. So the Sullivan market that I showed you before is on that side. And here we have this, this one here. This big building is Galloso. It's like a, a funerary uh, building, you know, where people who unfortunately have lost their 
loved ones come here to to say goodbye. It's like a crematorium, I guess. I guess that would be the the most accurate word. And especially this one is kind of famous. I know that many many artists have been uh, like uh, I don't know how to say it. And I don't know how to say it, but have been um, said goodbye in this building. It's pretty, pretty famous. The name is Galloso. And so we're just gonna keep walking. The art market is on this side, on the right side. Here, we can see it. Some people now. And on this side, it feels very quiet. And there is a parking lot over here. Um, in the corner, I think it's in this corner, if I'm not wrong, there is a cafe, Cocina Barragan. And this is, the reason for this is that this building, the one in the corner, was designed by a Mexican architect called uh, Luis Barragan. Um, yeah, this doesn't show his, um, his iconic work, but it shows like his early work. Uh, I don't know what year this is, but I can put it in the description if you're interested in Barragan's work. If you're in Mexico City, you should definitely, definitely go visit his house. Mm, it smells really good, like, like donuts. <laughs> Uh, oh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Those donuts made me really, really, really hungry. Oh, I forgot to say the time. It's 12.30 p.m. I think I forgot to say it. And this, the one on the oh, left side, so. is a museum and it's called uh, Museo del Eco. This one. This one. I hope I can show it like in the channel someday. But I think the design was partly made by Matthias Geritz. Uh, I think he was a German artist who has a lot of work here in, in Mexico. And this is the another entrance and it says El Eco. And it's open um, from Tuesday to Sunday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now we're gonna cross here in this corner so I can show you what the sellers are selling. <laughs> uh, the art market is here. Yep, this is the park. And this is also like some like temporary stalls that are um, set up on Sundays, I think. Yeah, only Sundays. And there is some food and some wooden toys some suits some handmade things some jewelry Gracias. <laughs> uh, things for dogs um, and pets and cats. Ooh. Some baby clothes over here. 
some jewelry. I'm actually looking for a face mask. I need a new face mask. Um, the ones I have are pretty old. And yeah, I need <laughs> I need a new one. Um, some more products here. Some like collectionable toys, I think. Oh, I like how uh, you know the artisans sell their products here. Uh, I support the artisans' work. Work I um, I like doing like you know handicrafts too. So it's important to support local business. <laughs> And then here on this side, we have San Rafael neighborhood, very residential neighborhood in Mexico City. And this one here is the Monumento a la Madre. I'm gonna go in and show you. There's not much to see, but it's just a plaza. Maybe another time, yeah, maybe another time. Because there's not much going on right now. And we have more restaurants here. Okay, let's cross. Yeah, everything looks closed. Uh, but here, we in the corner, we find Insurgent Street, well, Avenue. Uh, it's a big avenue that connects the north and the south of Mexico City. And we have a Ecovici station. And yeah, this is uh, the end of this small walk. I just wanted to show you, you know, another street of Mexico. Not just the touristic ones, but you know, one that is more local. Well, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Something I, I forgot to mention is that that one is the Senado, like this, the senator's uh, building, and. Outside there is a like a protest, um, a weed protest. Yeah, uh, 420, like 420. <laughs> so I think it's not like completely legal, but you can smoke a joint there if you want. Um, that was I don't know. I think that's something interesting. Let me know in the comment section, please. If there's something similar in your country. Okay, bye.